This right here is the new face of the Tata Nexon. Looks a lot sharper now with those angular headlamps, V-profile grille, the new bumper, etc. Now you might think, hey, the Nexon just came out in 2017. Why is it time for a facelift already, right? Well, partly because this compact sub 4 meter crossover segment demands something new all the time, especially with new players like when you're entering the market. And partly because Tata wants to showcase that they are ready for the future, not just in terms of the design and the features, but also in terms of the sustainable mobility. So what really debuts the new face of the Nexon is an electric vehicle underneath and it's about to hit the roads in 2020. Take a closer look at what it's all about. This then is the Nexon EV and you can book one right away for rupees 21,000. It shows off its eco credentials with the blue accents that you see in the grille and the bumpers. The tail lights are refreshed too and this new design will come to the Nexon BS6 petrol and diesel variants as well. The face looks closer to the Harrier now, especially with the design of the fog lamp housings and the raised bonnet which is put in place for better pedestrian crash protection. The ground clearance of the Nexon EV is a marginal 4mm lesser than its fossil fuel counterpart. Now that is because like any other EV, the battery pack sits in the floorboard. But 205mm of ground clearance, that should be more than enough for city use. In the hierarchy of the EVs that we've seen recently, the Nexon sits below the MG ZS EV. The Nexon EV claims to achieve a range of about 300 kilometers. It is powered by Tata's Zitron electric powertrain, which comprises of an electric motor that drives the front wheels and gets its power from a 30.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. The electric motor is rated for an output of 129 PS and an instantaneous torque of 245 Newton meters. What does that translate into? Well, Tata is claiming a 0 to 100 time of 9.9 .9 seconds. What's even better is 0 to 60, 4.6 seconds, which means zipping around town should be a lot of fun. Is it? Well, that's something we'll find out with a test. The motor is mated to a single-speed gearbox with two drive mode options, drive and sport. In the sport mode, there's a torque boost of up to 60%. A DC fast charger that goes into that conventional socket will replenish the batteries to up to 80% in less than an hour. Whereas the conventional charging from a 15 ampere three-point plug, which is usually found in the household, will take about eight hours is my guess. Now, because this is the facelift of the Nexon, you also see changes to the cabin. The overall layout remains the same, but you will see different colors, you will see different textures in here. Like the center panel, it's now done up in piano black. And the upholstery, it's a bright white now, goes with the theme of the car, goes with the electric theme of the car, looks quite fresh, looks quite nice. The infotainment, it's still the same screen, it still has the same display quality from what I remember of the previous Nexon, but this is now more feature-rich. The layout for one, it's very similar to what we saw in the Tata Harrier, and now it also gets connected technologies, 35 of them, and all of that will also come to the regular Nexon. Now you get an analog speedometer, but there's a large display on the side that gives you a wealth of information about the charge levels, about the powertrain. All of that is right there and it's very easy to read. It also gives you what driving mode you are in and that's a very nice thing. Now one little thing, nitpicking again. So you have the, uh, the fuel filler lid opener right here. It still has a fuel icon on it. I'm sure that by the, car, that by the time this car enters production, the icon will change. So these are of course teething things, teething issues, not an issue really. But overall, I think the cabin, it certainly looks quite nice. I like these blue accents that have been carried over from the outside to the inside as well. And overall, this is a much fresher looking cabin for the next one. Apart from all these features, you also now get a sunroof. Only on the driver's side, but a good system to have. The Nexon EV is the first in line of the Ziptron based EVs that the brand has in the pipeline. This is likely to be followed by an electric Tata Altros. So the idea of the Nexon EV is to make sustainable mobility more accessible to the masses. So one of the things that Tata is doing to that effect is giving a massive 8 year warranty on the battery pack and on the car. And that's equivalent of 160,000 kilometers as well. So that is a massive warranty on offer. The other thing that they're doing is a target price. They have 15 to 17 lakh rupee target price in mind. And if they achieve that, I believe the Nexon EV could be a game changer. Now around the Auto Expo in February is when we expect to hear more concrete details on the infrastructure setup, the expected uh, sales and uh, which cities are going to begin selling this car, when the deliveries are going to start. So all of that could be clear by the Auto Expo. I think that is also the same time where the Nexon facelift and the Nexon EV will debut. 
As for the Nexon EV, I think if they deliver on all the promises that they have made today, it will be a game changer and will also push all the other car makers to follow suit, to react and that will only take the segment of the electric vehicles forward and that I think is a great news.